Hello, welcome everyone to the um, Design for the Future Ready Enterprise Agile Organization, Agile for HR session. And uh, we have uh, Preeti Vyas with us who could uh, join uh, join us today. So thank you, Preeti. I'm glad you could join us today. And um, I think uh, just a reminder, I'll put this reminder as and when, you know, more number of people join, but I think below you can see a chat icon and I think there is a Q&A icon as well. Where in, you know, in chat, you can put in your comments and, you know, um, uh, in the Q&A uh, option, you can put in the questions which you intend to ask Preeti and we can take them towards the end of the session. Then uh, a quick, uh, you know, introduction about uh, Preeti. I'm, I'm sure everybody must have already gone through the uh, article uh, details. But so uh, her Agile Expedition started around 2009 when, uh, you know, she submitted the article, My Agile Expedition for one of the largest shipping company, which was also being selected as a part of Global Scrum Alliance newsletter. And she has been speaking at Agile India conference since 2018. And uh, she has also been leading a closed care net group for one of the largest business unit in uh, TCS in Enterprise Agile by 2020. So without further delay, uh, over to you, Preeti, and uh, I'll be on mute and video off. And, uh, whenever you need me, just, uh, you know, give a call. I'll be here to assist you. So again, sure. welcome, everyone. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, hi, everyone. Very good evening. Uh, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you are able to hear me loud and clear. So what we are going to do, right, in next uh, 17, 18 minutes or so, uh, Probably this is one of the very interesting topic that I personally uh, uh, like a lot. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to touch upon, you know, some of the uh, uh, key dimensions or key considerations which are really, really required for making a future ready enterprise agile organization. And I'm also going to share one of the case study or one of the experiences, right? While considering the time that we have at hand, I have tried to keep it abstract. But yes, I will be glad and look forward to meet you all in the uh, table or maybe offline also in case if you have any queries, right? So let's get started. Why I uh, chose this topic was, um, as uh, uh, already mentioned, I have been in this agile journey since 2009, right? Uh, earlier years, you can say that most of my experience had been more on the IT side of it, right? Uh, uh, you know, helping the product owners, scrum masters, uh, helping the teams as an agile coach, enterprise agile coach to kind of, you know, sail through the journey. But later on, my role uh, started becoming more of, you know, a consultant, uh, enterprise agile coach, advisor. And it started spanning across, you know, multiple dimensions out of IT. And one of the interesting dimension is uh, HR. Now, you may be wondering that, uh, you know, what is the role HR has to play in the future ready enterprise, right? Typically, when we see, you know, key functions of HR, and again, when I say this, this is my perspective from the IT side of it, right? I, I never belong to an HR department, uh, although I have many good friends in the HR. So maybe my perspective is still going to be more from the enterprise agile coach, uh, lenses rather than the HR, but the way I see it, right, or the way you all would have seen it, these are some of the key functions that we see for HR, be it, you know, recruitment and selection or performance management or making sure that, you know, the learning and development of each and every associate happens in a, uh, you know, a very unique or very uh, uh, engaging way, right, and this is especially important uh, be it, you know, a very big organization, one of the very big organization like TCS, wherein we are uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, many generation uh, people. On the other hand, there are many millennials working. And uh, it could be applicable for small organization also in a little different way, right? Now, this has been the traditional uh, perspective or look at uh, how we look at HR department, but lately, and especially after COVID, right, all of us know that, uh, you know, although digital transformations has been happening from many, many years now, it kind of, the journey has accelerated much, much, much more in last uh, two, three years or so, right? Uh, right from the street vendor to the housewives or the students, everybody is kind of, you know, using digital uh, like never before. 
second aspect if you really see um, the tools and technologies the collaboration the way it is changing right earlier uh, we hardly used to hear about two three technologies as long as you master that uh, it was pretty much it but now uh, right from iot ai metaverse so many things we are hearing about it right and it is changing very very rapidly so maybe one of the aspects hr has to continuously be on toes of that how do you continue to prepare your workforce for new age skills and third of course we all know that now most of us are working in a completely hyper distributed remote ways of working right so how do you kind of you know imbibe or bring the people in into that uh, uh, culture of organization and things like that going to use today that how them out uh, they need to work very very closely with you know the other IT department wherein most of the digital transformations are happening and so far we always used to think that these are two separate departments like multiple other departments but i think uh, uh, now the lines are blurred and everybody needs to work hand in hand to make that digital transformation a success and like uh, i really like this quote which says that everybody wants to win in the marketplace right but then in order for you to win in the marketplace first you have to win in the workplace Uh, so what i'm going to do is maybe quickly glance through you know some of the key considerations uh, how hr department has to revamp and then i'll probably delve much more deeper into the case study right so gone are the days wherein uh, the typical roles like vps evps uh, product owner product managers and those roles will still exist right but then the way everything is changing we are moving for from much more layered roles to much more network oriented organization right much more flat organization and culture learning needless to say if you really look at last two years alone right you i everybody every one of us the way we have learned it was like never before right many of us actually spend lot of time in learning and now we know one thing is constant is we have to learn continually hr also has to make sure that how talent sourcing is happening in in a much more robust way right gone are the days wherein people were selected only for the technical skills or domain skills or particular uh, you know industry that they were working with now all of the industries are merging everybody is expected to work as a team player right so the way i see it the soft skills are going to be much more important than the hard skills right like technical or domain or uh, something like that so how people are onboarded into the team like ambiguous environment as a team player versus the people who are kind of you know individual achiever employee engagement needless to say most of us are working from uh, uh, remotely uh, and the people who have not been to office or have not seen the other colleagues right how do you continuously maintain the employee engagement this is also one of the key aspects that hr has to look at nowadays performance management um, like many other companies uh, even in tcs right we don't look at annual performance in any more of course that still that consolidation lot of things happens but there is a mechanism of continuous feedback right it doesn't have to wait till uh, six months or one year for you to get the timely and critical aspects of feedback from your supervisor even there is a mechanism of 360 degree feedback right so even hr has to enable that that how we are in a constantly thriving organization wherein feedback from all the parties are considered time and again continual improvement um, again uh, many of the times we feel that we don't have time for improvement right uh, we are too busy on working on something delivering something but again uh, look at the latest technology look at the automation look at the innovation one of the key aspects which can make an organization succeed or fail is how importantly or how enabling they are uh, enabling the continual improvement within their organization so now if we get into each of these topics right typically it will be a theme of the day for agile india right each of the topic really demands lot of uh, discussion lot of deep diving but what i'm going to do now 
that we touched upon this topics right how do we try how did we try to bring it for one of our uh, leading customers and that is the next point i'm going to talk about uh, this is one of the case studies wherein we were working with one of the digital services and communications provider i was one of the consultant uh, who was kind of part of that exercise and the problem at hand was that their human resource department they really wanted to focus on getting out of siloed ways of working making sure that there is continual learning there is community of practice there is belongingness which is kind of you know buying upon the objectives and key results that the organization wanted to do they wanted to ensure that there is a according to their career path there is a learning which is happening on the go uh, um, maybe there could be people who have spent 25 years within the company and there are new millennials who are joining right so how do we help them navigate this journey of making sure that that organization which was moving from uh, the waterfall ways of working or older ways of working to the enterprise agile ways of working right so um, first things first right we started of course uh, when we are talking about an organization which is 17 18000 plus people right it's not easy you cannot reach the entire organization so maybe a conscious decision was to work with their human resource department their corporate university some of the cross section of the entire portfolio and we selected we hand picked three portfolios saying that these are the about 800 to 1000 people we are going to kind of you know uh, uh uh take a cross section we will interview them we will interact with them we did surveys we did coffee connect we did some uh, workshops right and this gave us a very good view on how the spectrum how the cross section of their organization was looking like right and it really helped us to understand where organization stands what kind of roles they had and we realized that they had about 25 roles within this three pilot portfolios itself right and then it's easy to say that let's move towards agile organization enterprise agile organization wherein we will have roles like product owners scrum masters product managers and things like that but how do you help somebody to transition who has spent 25 years being a field manager or who is kind of you know very good uh uh having very good domain expertise but maybe who needs little bit of uh awareness about how to maximize value how to prioritize how to write stories and things like that right so it's it looks easy on paper but then when you actually go and try and do that it it was really difficult uh, exercise on the other hand it was very very interesting as well and based on that we created about 14 uh, personas uh we started off with their uh, uh, kind of training their executive levels also and then uh, finally this 500 plus 600 to 800 people was a pilot size that we had selected and then i think many of you would be aware uh, wisconsin's uh, model uh, which talks more about the cultural uh, transformation right in order for anybody to succeed in their new role first of all uh, they need to have a will that this is the role that they want to get into right and then of course they are at point a today and they need to move to point b as i mentioned if a 25 plus years of field manager or maybe 5 years of developer uh, they need to move into future role maybe scrum master product on right what are the things that they need to know what are the soft skills they need to know what are the hard skills they need to understand how do they maximize uh, their learning right uh, and then skill which is very important aspect that whatever they have learned how do they apply that knowledge right so will skill and feel how do we make sure that the transition becomes smooth for not only for the entire group but maybe set of individuals also to get into that very different role based on their career aspiration and we help them fill the gaps that they had and of course some of the considerations as i mentioned we had to focus on what are the hard skills that would be required in that uh, role what are the soft skills that would be required what kind of existing experience they are holding right if somebody is kind of uh, already having business affinity maybe they will be little more successful as a product owner if uh, somebody is a little more people friendly who likes to collaborate work with multiple groups maybe Uh, by their personal attribute they will be more successful as scrum master agile coach and something like that right learning patterns if you ask 
somebody who has been in that organization who were used to have classroom trainings right they will feel much more comfortable uh, to attend two or three days of dedicated workshop happening somewhere on the other hand if there are millennials who maybe like to learn things quickly but in a very nanobytes kind of thing maybe they would like something on the app right which they can maybe 10 15 minutes of videos that they can learn on the go so so many considerations were there including the language affinity maybe would they like to prefer to learn in english versus dutch french or something like that what kind of platform they would like to use would they like to log into company portal or are there any apps they would use so we went through a lot of considerations along with their human resource department to kind of see whatever model whatever kind of curriculum whatever kind of role profiling we were coming up it was matching with the larger group aspiration as well as individual aspirations and learning patterns and then of course in order of course what went in between is uh, one very detailed journey and probably it will take me couple of hours if i have to narrate that entire case study to right but some of the key takeaways or learnings that we had right when we embarked on the journey is as i mentioned it looks easy on paper but the transition uh, has to be very very considerate and it has to be very very smooth for example example when we were dealing uh, or do that because you are uh, i mean the way we uh, information for, from so many people so how do we deal with that when we say that maybe based on affinity skill will feel this person is more fit for the role of product owner right and if, if they take up that role definitely in future there is going to be an impact to their compensation so and of course in the western uh, european countries there is union also which is much more prominent right so we cannot take certain decisions in isolation we of course even their hr department has to work very closely with their union and see whatever steps whatever road maps whatever career paths we are deciding right or suggesting to them it makes much more sense with respect to that holistic system as well so these were some of the very interesting challenges also we came across but finally uh, after this uh, exercise of couple of months of consultancy working with their uh, stakeholders uh we came up with we thought yes it is important for them to have a road map uh, some guidance around the hard skills and soft skills and possible career path that they can have we also have to help them by introducing some kind of coaching framework so they get some hand holding right when they are making the transition we also came up with uh, quite a lot of courses which were a combination of their shared wisdom as well as the knowledge and experience that we had we came up with training catalogs which will help them transform uh, from those 24 25 plus very different different roles to 11 plus agile roles and we came up with future role definition primarily into three job families process uh, which talks about scrum master agile coach enterprise agile coach then content which is more about product owner product managers and things like that and third was technical uh, wherein you talk about you know technical leads and technical architects and enterprise architects and of course last but not the least to make that cultural change community of practice was very very important right it is important that they learn formally informally also but on the other hand it is very important that there is a community feeling which will help them reduce the organization silos that they had so finally um, hi uh, yes. sorry hi preeti sorry for uh, interrupting but um, we are almost at uh, 718 uh, so you wanted sure. a time check uh, sure so if you want to take up the questions or yeah absolutely uh, you might want to finish uh, the part which you were uh, sure. saying. I think we are almost towards the end of the uh, uh, presentation. Sure, absolutely. So what we kind of you know started a pilot with, ultimately it was going to impact 4,000 plus people. As I mentioned, the larger organization was about 17, 18,000 plus employees uh, for that customer. However, they wanted to start uh, in a phased manner, right? So in the early phase, about 4,000 people kind of you know went through this uh, entire exercise and uh, learning with us and then overall as i mentioned 
the entire exercise or initiative that human resource department was taking it was not in isolation it was not just to say that you know they wanted to be agile as an hr but this was to kind of enable the larger digital transformation that was taking place in the company and of course it would include so many various technical aspects or initiatives like laying down the fiber cable uh, with the in the entire uh, city or entire region it could be about you know cloudification it could be about you know bringing iot's and a lot of other technical aspect so because we are looking at this from the lens of human resource department i intentionally kept the technical and the digital transformation details aside but this was my perspective my experience that i wanted to share with all of you to see that while being an it consultant it uh, coach right how do we always look at the enterprise agile transformation or digital transformation from one lens now if we look at the same thing from human resource angle what is it that they have to do what kind of role they have to play in enabling the design of future ready organization so that's the crux of the entire presentation now happy to take any questions that you may have well and uh, the session was was really interesting priti i mean i i am now intrigued to you know know more uh, and and you know the case study which you have mentioned i mean uh, you are a part of uh, <clears throat> such an important case study i i believe you know there lots lots of efforts and work goes in so thank Absolutely. you for sharing your experience with us thanks magna thanks everyone mm -hmm.